I just got killed by a streamer girl, Mrs. Sticks. Hey guys, this is Mrs. Sticks taking a look at Hunter's Arena Legends today. This isn't the first time we've delved into the world that is Hunter's Arena. This is our third, maybe fourth look into the game, and as such, I feel we are uniquely qualified to touch upon the game ahead of its early access launch on July 15th as a buy-to-play title. Hunter's Arena Legends is a unique PvP VE battle royale that features 60 players pitted against one another in a brutal struggle to survive not only the wilderness and the dangers that lurk within it, but also other players. Well, most players. You can get a few that don't fully grasp the concept of the game and run at your full three-man group as a level one newbie all on their lonesome, but most of the time you need to be wary of other players. Oh, and before we go any further, this video is sponsored. We were asked if we wanted to take a look at the stress test for the game and couldn't turn down that opportunity. If you're interested in participating in the early access, go ahead and click my link in the description and pinned comment below to be taken directly to the game. To start things off, there are currently four game modes and I was able to participate in three of them as one of them is not yet available in the stress test. The first one that you can participate in is the solo battle royale mode. You're first to go out into the world on your own and battle your way through hundreds of monsters to level up and gather various gear and loot. And if you're feeling spunky like I did, go into a dungeon and gobble up that delicious XP to get the cream of the crop gear and boost so you can release the final smackdown upon your foes. All the while the walls of the arena are closing in on you, and if you're familiar with battle royale mode, don't get caught outside the wall or you'll find yourself dying in your own stupidity. I'm not saying I did this or anything, but sometimes you live and learn, and then die because you learn the hard way. The goal is to be the final one standing and of course reach level 20 so you can unlock your ultimate skill. But. If doing this alone doesn't sound challenging enough for you, you can go into a trio battle royale where three of you must face off against the groups of other players. Being a fan of mostly multiplayer games, I know that the biggest challenge lies in having to not only rely on, but also work with other players. I can't tell you how many times my teammates just left me to die against other players, or how often I'd be in a group with an AFK party member, or had someone that refused to group up at all, or... <laughs> Okay, I'll go ahead and stop myself there. You can of course use the mic system to communicate, but there only seems to be open world mic from what I can tell. This admittedly left me with a few highly entertaining situations where I hear people screaming or fighting over comms. You can also communicate by group text chat or dance signals. I'd also recommend deciding how you plan to travel as you can travel around the map via horse, glider, or just plain running. We've left many teammates in the dust because they decided to run the distance instead of renting a glider. The unique thing about Trio is that if you or a teammate dies, you can take their soul to a resurrection point and revive them, for a price of course, to continue the fight alongside you. But if you're more into doing things on your own, but want to choose between multiple characters, you can go into a tag match which allows you to choose between two different characters to face off against another player in the arena. Be careful though, because you can be Spartan kicked off the edge in this mode. The only game mode I have yet to try as it's not available at the moment is the free for all where you're pitted up against three other hunters to see who's top dog. Overall, when you're playing, I'd be mindful to find out which characters work best for you as each one has different skills and ranges of attack. There are a total of 12 different characters with a 12th one not yet available in the stress test. Yun Jian is their newly added Blade Master, and I'm looking forward to trying him out. I had to take a character that was new to me out for a test run, Gianjo. I think he's a gorilla, but the tail is kind of throwing me off. But I'll always go back to my bae, Mimi. She got me through some bad situations in previous beta tests. I think I played her for the last three times I've gone into Hunter's Arena. And as you go along, you'll acquire ways of purchasing varying skins, emotes, and victory poses for your characters. And as you continue to not only accumulate wins, but also level, you'll have additional ways of unlocking more mastery skills, which includes upping your HP overall, monster skill XP gained, and finally weapon attack power. I'll be curious to see how these come into play when facing off against others with more hours played than myself. So far, I'm having a blast going in and seeing how I fare up against other more experienced players and also finding monsters in the world. 
The game makes use of very responsive action combat system that has shown substantial improvement over the various stages of development Styx and I have played. Overall, it's a nice hodgepodge of various things I like in a game, but that's just my opinion. What do you guys think? Are you excited for the early access? What aspect of the game are you most interested in? Anyway, I hope to see you all next time when I take a look at the game once it has released. Bye for now. Bye! I ain't feeling lonely In a morning man, it's time to end the ride They need to slowly Over those gonna lift me up this time You were the only One who got me tripping up inside